And now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, today was a beauty, but right now, just checking the skies outside, you can see across Springfield, we do have mostly cloudy skies. Uh, those clouds will thicken up this evening. Temperatures right now still pretty mild. We sit at 60. Winds notice they're out of the north now as we are now north of a cold front, which is located here south of Highway 60, and it will continue to drop south across northern Arkansas. Now, right now, we are rain free, but that changes later on this evening. I do expect a few showers, most of it light, and this is going to be primarily focused along and east of Highway 65. We'll see that threat for showers move out of the area ahead of sunrise on Tuesday, and that's going to open the door to another beautiful day from north to south across the area. And while, yeah, it'll be a little on the cool side, cooler than today or yesterday, we're going to be looking at light winds and temperatures which will get close to 60 during the afternoon. Here's our hour by hour forecast. Again, clouds thickening up. You can see by 10 o'clock, we've got showers here along the I-44 corridor back into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. That activity shifts east overnight. This is 3 o'clock, still looking at a little bit of lingering uh, rain in areas like uh, maybe uh, Winona down through Alton, West Plains, back into Mountain Home. This activity will continue to slip out of the area. There could be a few clouds to start off the day here in north central Arkansas, but those will quickly go away. And we're going to be looking at generally sunny conditions across the area throughout the day on Tuesday. Temperatures tonight will cool off into the uh, middle and upper 30s to the north by sunrise. And we'll hold on to low to mid 40s to the south along and south of the state line. Temperatures tomorrow will range from the mid to upper 50s north, which was pretty close to what we had today, to around 60 to the south. I think we're going to get close to 60 here in Springfield as well. Notice winds remaining very light out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming more easterly during the afternoon. Now, we do have some wet and cold weather that will follow tomorrow. It looks like we've got a, a little swirl in the atmosphere right here across Southern California. Doesn't look like much right now, but it will help to pick up some Pacific moisture and some Pacific storminess and send it our way, interacting with a cold front that will be dropping south across the area uh, by uh, late evening on Wednesday. Showers will break out uh, with that front. Showers and drizzle, I think, Wednesday afternoon, and then it looks wet overnight Wednesday night, wrapping up Thursday morning, and then we'll see some slow clearing from northwest to southeast during the afternoon hours on Thursday. Rainfall total is pretty impressive. Looks like we're going to see upwards of a quarter to a half an inch to the north. Uh, areas south of the interstate is where most of the rain is going to fall. In fact, it looks like areas near and south of the state line picking up between one and three inches of rainfall. And again, a cold, damp day will follow on uh, Thursday with highs near 40. Chilly with sunshine on Friday with highs in the mid 40s, a little bit of a warm up Saturday, and another blast of cold coming our way Sunday into Monday of next week. Mm, oh no, some rain, some cold, but at least there's some sunshine there. Mm -hmm. Viewers Club number Jamie. Number tonight, 134524. Jackpot is $200. Folks, we're following some breaking news. It's just